Right, now it's time for some mini art display exhibition, want to call it that, on art display today. Today we have an art showcasing a very, very interesting personality here, Bernard Oguru, who is a multi-talented artist and also art consultant and a member of the Society of Nigerian Artists. He is here with us today with some of his very, very fine work and we're going to be talking about that. Great to see you here, man. Yeah, good morning. Like your choice in frame, talking about your glasses. Thank you very nice. much. And also your hair choice. I oh, wish I could you. do that, but <laughs> I'll stick with the afro. Okay. Now, um, let's talk about you, first of all, and uh, then generally art. I have very interesting questions to ask you today. Okay. Um, we're surrounded by your artwork, which for most part, many can describe as abstract from what we see here to um, the semblance of people like from here and there. But in your own concept, what exactly constitute art? constitutes art because I've seen so many people with so many different expressions okay and I would like to think I'm an artist as well but I'm waiting for the right definition of my kind of art because I think people think I'm local when I do come out with it <laughs> so but what is art exactly well I just feel art is um <clears throat> it's, 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 it's a creative window mm -hmm. where everyone comes in to express mm -hmm. themselves you know Whatever medium you're using, maybe it's painting or sculpture, music, mm. drama, whatever it is. So it's a creative window. So if you have the window, like you said, you, you I feel do have like, expressions inside of me that I'm so yet you to. need to get the window out uh -huh. there, that platform where you can uh, exhibit, exhibit yourself. Yeah. Now, the fear is that people won't understand my kind of art. And if there's anything I've learned from doing the art display here on uh, Wake Up Nigeria is that there's so many different forms of expressions. People have different styles. I've seen people make art out of brass straps, for instance. Yes. And yours, for instance, here. Now, this is um, a regular form of person, but I can see that you use oil. You also use fabric and everything. And that's your kind of expression. First off, Let's talk about this exactly. What is yeah. this? What's going on here, Bernard? Yeah, actually this work, the title is um, Safety Precaution. Okay. That is a regular Yoruba man mm -hmm. that is um, having his chewing stick on and also the, the mask. <laughs> so we all know <laughs> what's going on with what's the pandemic. Going on. This work was done during the, at the height of the pandemic. Okay. So I made it and I actually kept it somewhere. So everybody was very scared, like, you must put on your nose mask. Yeah. COVID is in the air. You don't want to breathe. Yeah, but whatever. we still have habits that we have to go on doing that so kind of like get in the actually, way of So that. this man was actually still trying to brush his teeth and um, still having Adhere the mask. To, yeah, yeah, so. Very interesting. I also see that you, your expressions also move away from this kind of art and become very abstract, like what we can see from behind us. Let me put this down so okay. that we can actually... Now, behind us, we see these very interesting works here. And I especially like this one for some childhood reason. Yeah. But tell us about that. This one is actually called um, Protection. Okay. Uh, when I was doing this art, so I was trying to resonate it with my family. Uh, I came from a family of four children. Okay. So, and this woman is uh, representing my mom. Oh, nice. I yeah. see that. So she had that tribal mark uh, on her face with that veil. Where is she from? She's from Delta too. Okay. Where in Delta State? Kwale too. Kwale, okay. So, when I, why, why I said is protection, because she has been able to protect us from all our uh, do's and don'ts. Mm -hmm. So, to make us become a better person in the society. And you can also see the halo. Yeah, I, I saw that actually. Yeah. I, I saw that. So, uh, a mother's love. And the, the one, the form with the big belly here, that's you, I guess. No, I'm the last one. The one oh, you're the last kid. Yeah, I'm the last Inter one. So, you can't see that. Maybe we'll lift it up later. I'll yeah. take pictures of them. And, but very interesting, that one. And to move on to this, which I think is my best uh, piece of work by you, okay. is this lady. And if you're not, if you're, I'm going to lift this up so everybody can see because I want yeah. everybody to see this properly. Now, can you see that? That's that lady there in all of the uh, um, abstract around her, but she is very well defined out of that. Yeah. I can't remember that's what this the, is That's called. the hostel. The hostel. Yoruba people call it uh, Irukere. Okay. So she's uh, an Igbo lady. Oh, yeah. okay. So dancing. Mm -hmm. So I tried to, to use um, geometric um, nice. uh, signs to uh, very, replicate very the work. So 
So how do you get inspired to make this kind of art? Do you, do you have like actual pictures or pictures in your head? Where does the inspiration come from? In the first place, I, I have um, my reference. Mm -hmm. So then once I know where I'm going to, like I have those ideas and what I want the painting to look like. Painting is a journey. Mm. So you can only predict where you're going to end, mm. but you can't you still... can't be absolutely sure. Yeah. <laughs> My fear, yeah. and which is how I started, is would people appreciate whatever it is I'm putting out as an artist? Do people appreciate it at the end of the day? Does everyone appreciate it? Definitely. Yeah. It's a state of mind where okay. you need to mm. come to agree with yourself that mm. you want to conquer that part and okay. believe like everybody's okay. going to like what you're doing. Okay. Everybody likes art. Uh -huh. That's the truth. Yeah. So probably because maybe if they can't come to afford it, Yeah, that's where they hold yeah. back. Now, mm -hmm. finally, this humongous lady lying down in front of us, almost lifelike proportions here. Let's talk about her. Is that an abstract piece of work or is it, uh, because it's, 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 I can tell the forms. Oh yes, I can, absolutely. But yeah. it still looks, it still seems abstract. It's abstract, although it's a figurative art. Mm -hmm. And um, this abstract is really, connecting with the, the woman. Yeah, so mm. it's talking more about the, the rape awareness. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so, and um, the title of this work is, is called Consent. Okay. So I, when I was making this work, I, I felt the, the female gender, they are very soft mm. and um, most men get to bully them mm. and um, and make them to do things that they don't really wish to do, okay. you know, forcing them on bed. So I feel this painting really narrate the story about um, getting any female consent. Okay. So and also whatever, getting the, the word out there regarding um, consent generally. Yeah, whatever women, they want to do that. with you. Yeah. So you must really get their mind into it and let them be aware and really want to do it with you. Yeah. You know, well, Bernard, we can't take everything here. We are surrounded okay. by our work, but we are, unfortunately can't uh, talk about everything. But they are a very nice piece of work, and we have actually on the screen told people how they can reach out to you on social media and all of that. But thank you very much for making it uh, here on the show, yeah, carving thank out Thank you time. very much. Really appreciate it. And uh, we hope to see more of your artwork and okay. uh, maybe even bring it on the show. Definitely, I will do Thank that. Thank you very much, Ben Hart. Really appreciate it. Okay. Do stay tuned. It's still Wake Up Niger. We've got more coming your way. All you have to do is just leave it right there.